Alright, boys and girls, it is 5 in the morning, so if I fall asleep mid-sentence, sorry, that's why, you know, it's been a 10-hour stream and now I'm trying to record this. So, I want to talk about the new GL from Iron Banner. The reason I want to talk about it now is I want to try to get this out as soon as possible while IB is still out and not, you know, pump this out Monday night when the event's almost over and people want to know, you know, before that, whether this is a good GL, what it's worth farming for, and uh, what are the quote-unquote god rolls. So, we're talking about... Tusk of the Board today, it is a new Strand Wayframe GL in IB. You can get it through random matches if you have a horseshoe in, you know, your nether regions. Or if you blow past maybe like 70 engrams and maybe you'll get your first one there. And trust me, trust me, I know people that blew a lot of engrams to get their first one. Anyway, moving on. So, Tusk of the Boar is going to get a lot of comparisons to Forbearance. It's basically Forbearance 2, essentially. The big difference between this and Forbearance, well, the two differences actually, is Forbearance is an Arc Wayframe GL, and it's in the Energy slot, and this is a Strand Wayframe GL in the Kinetic slot. This is, uh, I think, a good thing, because now you kind of open up some possibilities to different loadouts where you can run Tusk of the Boar, plus, let's say, Sunshot, or uh, an Overload Stun Weapon, or an Unstop Stop Weapon, or a Barrier Stun Weapon, etc., and who knows what you could use in the future going forward with new weapons coming out as well. And the other major difference is that Forbearance, the OG one, not the Into the Light one, that has Soul Drinker, which essentially is basically you get a couple of kills and it heals you. This GL, uh, Tusk of the Boar, does not have that. Although, to play Devil's Advocate, we have a billion ways to heal ourselves these days in-game. For example, random one is if you run Buried Bloodline in your energy slot and you get Devour. And then every time you get a kill with Tusk, you get healed. So... <laughs> You kind of made your own Soul Drinker there. And then, of course, there's, like, Well of Radiance and Double Resto and all this other stuff that can heal you, too. And uh, Final Shape will also give you more stuff to heal you. So, you know, Soul Drinker is not an entire deal breaker, but I will say that it being built into OG Forbearance is definitely a plus. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Forbearance is now obsolete and this is the unanimous number one all of a sudden. Because that's not the case at all. They're both really good GLs used in certain situations or certain builds, and they can coexist at the same time. They're just really very comparable in what they do. But enough of Val Forbearance. Let's talk about Forbearance 2. So Tusk of the Boar can roll a couple of good perk combinations, I think. I'm going to throw up all the perks for Column 3 and 4 on screen somewhere here so you guys can see. But essentially, Column 3 can roll Amos Assassin, Grave Robber Slice, Enlightened Action, Slideways, Pulse Monitor, and then Column 4 can roll Hatchling, Chain Reaction, Bait and Switch, Swash, Vorpal, and Deconstruct. So immediately, let's just get all the trash out of the way. Pulse Monitor, out the window. Grave Robber, out the front door. Enlightened Action, not a bad perk, but I don't think that's going to be your number one choice to go for in this column. Then in Column 4, Vorpal, yeah, this is not 2018, that's gone. Swashbuckler, what are we, a pirate? Get it out of here. And then bait and switch, yeah, uh, you don't want bait and switch on a, on a waveframe. I, I don't know how to explain it any more than that. So, what we're left with here is column three. We have Envious Assassin, Slice, and Slideways, also known as Walmart brand Slide Shot. And then in column four, we have Hatchling, Chain Reaction, and Deconstruct. Now, talking about the perks, and I want to mention now, uh, I'm going to be just messing with all of these in the background footage that you're going to be seeing here of just like Legend slash Master Thriller Drome on uh, Neo Muna. And we'll start with Column 3. So the three perks that I was messing with were Amis Assassin, Slice, and Slideways. None of these out the gate are really game-breaking, especially on a Wayframe GL where, for example, Envious, you're going to get three shots to shoot right away instead of, you know, like three million on a, on a heavy, you know, GL like uh, Cataphract. So three shots... Not exactly crazy, but it's still three shots in a row without having to reload, so it's not a bad thing. It's not terrible. It's not game-breaking. It's kind of just the middle ground of, yeah, I can use this perk. It's it's not bad. And then we have Slice, which is kind of somewhat in the same boat. So Slice is a very good perk for damage reduction. By the way, if you don't know what Slice does, uh, it's casting your class ability, allowing you to sever targets, and then those sever targets would do less damage to you, up to a maximum number, which is, I think, five targets. Now, is this a good perk in general? Yeah. But is it also situational? Also, yeah. For example, if you're going to be running into, let's say, an army of like eight goblins, right? More than likely, once you actually fire your GL, whether it's a chain reaction variant or you're doing a 
Threadling build or a Beyblade build on Hunter, more than likely, all of them are just going to die immediately, which kind of, you know, it, it defeats the purpose of Slice because all of it's dead, nothing's going to hit you, so your damage reduction is non-existent. The, the one time, or some scenarios where it, it can help, is of course, if there's like orange bars in between there, or a champion, or a yellow bar, or whatever, and then, you know, you have Slice uh, active, and you're getting damage reduction, and that's cool. So, it's, again, kind of similar to uh, Envious, where it's not a bad perk, obviously, but it's a little bit situational. So, I would say, if you get a roll with Slice, you can keep it, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you that, like, it's a must-have, you have to delete your account if you don't get this perk, okay? And then finally, we have Slideways, or as I alluded to it earlier, uh, Walmart brand Slide Shot. Jokes aside, though, Slideways is not bad. So Slideways on this GL, it works pretty straightforward. You take a GL shot, and then you slide, and then you get ammo back. From there, you can either manually reload, and then you can repeat the process again after the cooldown's gone, or you can go shot, slide, shot, swap to a different weapon, doesn't matter which one, then swap back to your GL, and you can again now slide and get your shot back if you want to do it that way. That way, technically speaking, you never have to manually reload until all your ammo is gone or you've already cleared the room of all the enemies. Basically, what I'm trying to say is all of them are worth keeping for one situation or another. Slice definitely has its place in the game. If you happen to get that, at the very worst, you can just keep it in your vault for when the situation for it arrives. And then Slideways and Envious is just ammo efficiency, whether you want to, uh, you know, slide for your ammo or just have Envious and then use a secondary weapon to build up Envious in your GL and then go crazy with it that way. Now let's talk about Column 4. So let's just get Deconstruct out of the way right now. Deconstruct is essentially a cope pick at the moment. For those of you that don't know, most people think Deconstruct is just something you use against, like, vehicles and constructs to do bonus damage. And, I mean, technically that's true, yes. But a lot of people seem to just ignore that you get ammo refund on this perk. Now, you can't abuse it non-stop over and over and over. It has a small cooldown on it, but it still gives you ammo refunds out of thin air. And, you know, free ammo out of thin air has always been valuable in this game. So it's not a terrible idea to try to hang on to this as, again, a cope option. I wouldn't make this your number one target, though. That leaves us with Chain Reaction and Hatchling. So, Chain Reaction obviously is going to be the front runner of these perks. Duh, stating the obvious, I know. Chain Reaction can be used basically on any build you want, whether it's a Strand build, Darkness subclass, Light subclass, Solar build, Titan build, whatever. It can be used everywhere, and it'll do its job very, very well, and it can also be enhanced coming into Final Shape. Also, on the flip side, don't forget that Chain Reaction is supposed to get a hit in Final Shape, I believe in the blast radius of the Chain Reaction perk itself. So, worth keeping that in mind. But overall, I think it is the front runner of farming this GL and hoping that you get that specific perk on your fourth column. That being said, I do still want to mention Hatchling. Now, currently, Hatchling overall is not the greatest perk in the game. It's actually been very underwhelming, I think, ever since Lightfall launched, pretty much. But I do want to give it a shout out to uh, using it on Strand Warlock. I think the gimmick there is working pretty well, especially if you synergize into it with all your abilities to spawn as many hatchlings and threadlings, whatever, as you can. Spam your GL, spam your uh, your grenade, your rift, etc. And it'll blow up entire rooms, as you'll be seeing on the footage. You know, I had no problems clearing out all the trash mob pretty much in the entire uh, law sector. And if you run into a champion, you know, you have unraveling rounds, you could put a uh, shackle grenade on. You have your outs to basically everything. On Shram Warlock, it's pretty good. On anything but a Strand Warlock, I, 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 I wouldn't say it's all that great. You know, on Hunters, I actually think Beyblade uh, is the way to go. So basically, you put on Chain Reaction on a Strand Hunter, and you blow everything up. And then, including when you blow your enemies up, you will create a Tangle. And your Chain Reaction GL will also blow up the Tangle. And then the Beyblades will just keep killing anything that's, like, in a two-mile radius from you. So it's pretty nice uh, on Hunters. Hatchling, not so much. Titans... Not so much. Also, Titans have Banner of War. They'll just slap everything with their hands. So, they don't, they don't have to worry about that. And just like Chain Reaction is going to get a hit, likewise, or actually opposite, Hatchling could be getting a buff. I think it's very reasonable to say that it probably will because it's underperformed very, very much in the year since launching it uh, in Lightfall. So, keep an eye out on the perk if you happen to get it once you've secured your uh, Chain Reaction role. So, in conclusion, Look out for Chain Reaction, and then once you get that, you can look out for Hatchling slash Deconstruct, or if you're incredibly unlucky, 
and you just can't get Chain Reaction, then look for those two specifically in the meantime. And then in Column 3, again, you can't go wrong with any of them. Envious, Slice, Slideways, all really good. Some people prefer Slideways, some will prefer Envious, some will prefer Slice. And, well, that's how you slice it. it listen, it's 5 a.m., I'm allowed one dad joke, okay? All right? Finally, if you guys are interested in actually seeing these builds that I showed in the background, like the Threadling build for Warlock and the Beyblade build for Hunter, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to get those out to you guys as fast as I can. In the meantime, hopefully you enjoyed this video, or it's helped you try to figure out what you want to get for this GL if you are suffering in IB for them. Good luck on trying to get your GLs, and if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing today, leaving a like, and or comment. It does help the channel. is much appreciated, and it helps uh, fight that YouTube algorithm. Other than that, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Goodbye.